i'm going to go over some things today um some things related to god the bible some things relating to the uh, stock market some things relating to outer space or the supposed idea of outer space um, and companies that keep delaying um, supposed civilian trips to ISS. Of course, it's only to ISS. They'll never be able to go to the moon. Um, what they'll do is they'll they'll have a sort of free fall type of situation. They'll be able to simulate free fall. That's what's going to go on over a certain period of hours. They'll go to a very high altitude and they'll simulate free fall and they'll think they're in outer space um, and so don't invest in SPCE Virgin Galactic because it's a hoax uh, and Tesla a lot of their money is made off of SpaceX and this whole hype about the red car in space if you believe that you're absolutely insane and so we're living in a demonic age, an age where most people are completely blinded to the lies of the devil, to the lies of the devil and by the lies of the devil, you know. Um, they don't know that they're lies and those lies are what's blinded them. Um, and it's, it's, truly, it's a truly evil age we live in and people are investing their money into these companies, believing that eventually they'll finally be able to get to outer space. Um, the fact of the matter is the Bible is true uh, from front to back, word for word. So that means when it says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, it means it wasn't lying. It means that's what actually happened, meaning it wasn't the Big Bang. Um, also, why would it talk about the firmament uh, and, and God calling the firmament heaven and there being water above and below the firmament of heaven? And it talks about this right in the first chapter of the Bible in Genesis. How can that be if we live in it in another universe that's described by what we were told in school? Um, and so the thing is, it's it's one or the other basically. And, and so my question for you is, why do you believe in what you were told by school? Was it because of all the pictures and what they just kept telling you it? And, and there's more and more articles telling you about outer space and how we're finally going to get to go here or there. They have all these promises they've already failed to do, but they're talking about the ISS at least. And now they're saying, oh, we'll have people be able to go up to the ISS. You know, I'm sure you'll have to pay a million dollars. Um, and uh, it's, it's nonsense. It's, it's all nonsense because if it was real, any of their promises that we've already shoveled millions and millions of dollars, billions of dollars over the decades into NASA, any of those projects that they had promised decades ago would have come to pass, but they have not. So what's going on is, is pure uh, demonic uh, deception and, and basically idiocy, you know, because, or, or, or blindness, I guess, you know, ignorance, I guess, you know, and, and to, you know, that could be called a certain form of idiocy sad to say uh, because it's just not it's just not very prudent at least you know I don't want to use that word but it is foolish though you know it says the fool hath said in their heart there is no God you know uh, that's what a fool says and, and they believe these lies of the heliocentric model the Big Bang model and the globe earth model if you are actually to test uh, over say the ocean for instance um, or, or say a lake a frozen lake that's a perfect example you can see that there can't be curve because the water is completely flat for hundreds and hundreds of miles Lake Baikal in Russia is a good example of that so the earth is actually flat I know how much people hate to hear that but um, it's actually a piece of scientific evidence that will help you come to the knowledge of the truth of the Lord you should also come to terms with the fact of prophecy, Bible prophecy. Um, so, uh, you know, all these prophecies have been fulfilled. There's signs in the stars. Uh, the Revelation 12 sign was a huge sign that happened recently. The star of Bethlehem reappearing was a huge sign. Um, 
the fact that there even is a zodiac and this precise pattern that people can say, okay, this is going to be this year, this is going to be that year, this is going to be that year. And there's all these different attributions to every little aspect of where everything in the heavens are because the heavens aren't a random explosion and it's not like somehow it's both you know and, and some people want to think well the big bang uh created all that precision and but but it didn't because that wouldn't work out in that model if think think about that like if the big bang model were true it would be literal chaos everywhere like in the stars there would be no repeating patterns at all it would be just linear patterns of lights in this in the sky it would not be a circular pattern if you were to take a time-lapse photo of the north star it would be linear because if the earth were even turning in the first place so they give you all these different ideas just to throw you off just to confuse you and they teach it to you as a kid and you never question any of it and it's it's like a bizarre dream i'm not gonna lie everybody most everybody's under this occult spell of the devil um and what's going on now too is it's a funny thing god is still going to help the common people uh it says blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth you know and, and what's going on is it's almost about to happen in, in the stock market even with the free market we're threatening the establishment uh, you know that but the key to that would really to be not only to have a financial revolution but a, a spiritual revolution a change of heart because if everybody were to get blessed like this uh and then come to the appreciation of the lord you know then that's what will really change things in america not just money you know um it says for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some have coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows it's not just money that will help america it's understanding that god blessing us so much that's what will really help America. And then coming to terms with God and Jesus by reading the King James Bible, studying Romans through Philemon, Paul's preaching to us about Jesus, understanding that it truly is faith in the blood of Jesus and his death, burial, and resurrection. And why I emphasize studying that is because you don't really believe it until you study it. It's a, it's a strange thing. Until you have the curiosity to actually read one book, then you will have the free gift of eternal life but until then you are on your way to damnation and and it's that simple it doesn't matter who you are how great you think you are how much good you've done in this world how many people who say they love you and who have loved you or how much money you have there's one thing that truly matters in this life and this is why Christianity still exists and has existed and will continue to exist until the end of time because Jesus is Lord. God bless.